What's up, Cyb? This is my cat. He's 16 years old. His name's Siberia, if you don't know. Anyway, listen, everyone. Oscar De La Hoya is hilarious. I just watched a video with him. Uh, it's, he's talking about Juan Manuel Marquez when he promoted him, uh, saying he's broke because of De La Hoya or whatever, signed a shady contract, allegedly all this stuff. But De La Hoya is so funny. I mean, he's actually, you can see the ring light. It's all planned in his uh, reflection in his glasses. He's reading a lot of this. Um, they're short videos. Really funny though, if any of this is true, but really sad that Juan Manuel Marquez is broke. That's a whole nother story. We, we could talk about that later in the video if you want to stick around. And also Bevel, quick prediction if you're here for the first time. I'll tell you who's gonna win that fight. It's not a 50-50 fight, it's all hype. So it's going to be a boxing lesson. But uh, uh, let's just talk about this real quick. So De La Hoya is saying that this man is just cloud chasing. A lot of retired fighters are doing this. You can see the previous video where I talked about Shane Mosley was saying, mentioning De La Hoya want to fight and stuff like this. Really interesting. Everyone's trying to get paid. De La Hoya, thankfully, looks like he has his finances in order. And um, he's a really funny guy. I, I got to say, I really, he's re I like him. I, I, he seems really likable and funny. Um... I, I just think it's it's really sad though, a lot of these fighters, how they blow their money, where you have some, you know, people that just don't know how to manage money, they live beyond their means. How could you blow millions and millions of dollars like this? You can literally put like two million into an account and just live off the interest. I mean, this is ridiculous. So De La Hoya goes on to say, um, basically Juan Manuel Marquez is just like, he signed the contract with his lawyer, he overlooked it and he signed it. What do you expect? Uh, De La Hoya is gonna work for free. So it's just really sad because it wasn't that long. It seemed like yesterday where Juan, Mel, Juan, Juan Marquez, Juan Manuel Marquez was fighting Floyd Mayweather, uh, Pacquiao, he made, for sure he made millions. Um, is it true? Is he really broke or what is broke? Sometimes you hear people that are like worth like, let's just say $10 million saying they're broke. And meanwhile, they have like 1.2 in a bank and they're living in a nice house or a, 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 just a, a middle class, a regular house or a condo or something like this. And they're crying that they're broke because they, they got rid of like, they lost like 7 million, but they still have two or three left or one. Uh, anyway, whatever. So... Uh, this Saturday, we got Beevil versus uh, Better Beev. I'm probably not even saying his name right, but I'll, I'll just, just tell you what's going to happen, in my opinion. Uh, I think they're milking a 50-50 fight. A lot of these uh, so-called boxing experts always say 50-50 because they don't want to be wrong and look bad. You know, they could save face when the other fighter lost. Well, it was a close 50-50. I just think Beevil's going to box circles around him. He's 33 years old, which is still quite young compared to a guy that's going to turn 40. That is uh, our, our tour of Better Beev is... is uh, he's a wrecking ball. Yeah, he's all the power in the world, but he's going to go for a knockout. He's going to go forward and Beevil is going to box his head off. He's going to teach. He's going to have a boxing lesson and maybe he'll stop him late because my man is almost 40 years old. I mean, come on. Like, really? What's, is it going to be that surprising? And then what happens? Let's just say if I'm right. I could be wrong, of course. Beevil could get caught because power, the guy's power is amazing. But Beevil's the type of fighter when it's such a ring, high ring IQ. Uh, you saw what he did. In, you did with a great boxer. Well, really, really, really good boxer. Not an elite, Canel Alvarez. Uh, really good boxer. You saw with Floyd Mayweather. What I predicted on this channel did to Flo Floyd Mayweather uh, dominated him. It looked like a, a boxing exhibition uh, to a uh, in prime 23 year old Canelo. But uh, I just think that uh, he looked really great because Canelo is a really, really good. As hard as I am on him. Well, because I judge fighters by like the elite in the, the bottom, you know, so you got to place them in a certain place. Uh, how good are they, pound for pound wise, and all that? Uh, it could sound harsh, but it's just true the way we look at boxers. Uh, Canelo's really good. He's a great, he is a great fighter, but is he great like Ali? Is he great like Floyd? No, not like that elite. But he's up there, and you saw what uh, Beevil did to him. He, he outboxed him, and, and you're not going to just go in there and knock a Beevil out like this. Where is this 50-50 nonsense coming from? The guy's almost 40. They're trying to sell you a, a fight like it's it's like so, uh, oh my God, this is like Ali Frazier. I'm not so sure about that. Um, so anyway, I just, I want to also talk about uh, Tyson Fury. I know it's if you're here again, it sounds like I'm repeating myself because I'm covering the recent boxing news into big fights that are coming up. Um, um, by the way, talking about De La Hoya, remember he was going to fight and then he got sick and he was like, oh, forget this. I'm glad he didn't fight and come back. Anyway, um, Tyson Fury versus uh, Usyk 2. 
that's going to be an interesting fight. Now that fight, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you want to call it 50-50. Yeah, that's a that's a fight where yeah, arguably you who's going to win. Um, the first fight was quite close, but you saw what uh, Usyk did. He changed it around in that one round when he knocked Fury down and he had him out on his feet. Really, 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 really interesting fight. Uh, if you're going to buy a fight, also, I would definitely buy that fight. And if you're going to buy a fight, even though I'm not, I would buy the Bevel versus uh, Better Be a Fight. That's worth buying for sure. I don't think it's going to be like, it's going to be exciting there for a few rounds. Like, whoa, or maybe throughout as as you see a knockout artist going forward and you just see Bevel using all skills going around him, using ring generalship, just a domination and putting put and going to school so it's a classic puncher versus a really good boxer or great great i'll say he's great and he's gonna go around and he's gonna just use his jab he's gonna use that utilize everything all his tools at 33 years old versus a 39 year old how long can a man that's almost 40 think about it almost 40 years old gonna be able to put the pressure on Mental pressure and Beevil's dealing with so much. Oh my God, he's is he gonna collapse? You can see all the hype on the talk in the commentary. Uh, this guy's forty years old. Nobody talks about it really. I haven't seen any much, not much about made about it. The age gap is too big, in my humble opinion. Could be wrong. And yes, certain, most certainly, could he catch Beevil? It's been hap it happened before. I hate to say lucky punch, because the man has the power. He has the talent. He would have earned it if he lands it and knocks him out. All. Props to Better Be he earned it. You know, I'm not going to say lucky punch. He has that. Like Teddy Atlas always says, the magic eraser. I'll say just uh, he has that reset button. He'll knock you out, make you get up and reset after the fight. Um, there's no doubt. There's no doubt that the fight's going to be very interesting. But is it this 50-50 thing? No. I, I, if they were 35, 36... Even if they fought earlier, if it, if, if, if uh, Better Beef was like 34, and uh, let's just say the Beevil was like whatever, 23, 24. If they fought a while ago, you know, if they were much younger, under 35, both of them, I would say it's a much more interesting fight. And maybe then you could say, oh, it's maybe 50, 50, but the, the age gap is just ridiculous. And I just see one, you know, Better Beef looks like he's a one, a little, I, I don't want to say one dimensional, but almost one dimensional, if that makes any sense. He's He doesn't have as many tools and uh, change-ups as uh, Beevil could pull. Beevil could, okay, I'm losing this fight. Let's say he gets knocked down early. He, got, he gets knocked down. He could turn it around. He has the ability to turn it around. Whereas a uh, fighter, a puncher going forward, like better, better Beev, he has that one-way only fight mentality. And if he, if, if, it, if he can't get the knockout and he's, he's going to lose on the cards, it does not... There's, He's got to knock Beevil down several times. That's the only way, path to victory for him. He's got to knock him down. He's got to hurt him. And he can't just let those points accumulate. And like I said, Beevil, he has a good chance to stop him late. But uh, I would lean towards the decision. But there, I'm not going to be surprised if he's late stoppage. Um, also, uh, I just think uh, we'll talk about the Fury fight coming up. I, do, oh, I also want to touch on Joshua. Joshua should retire. He shouldn't be fighting Dubois ever again. It's ridiculous. He'll get beat even quicker. Um, jo I feel like Joshua was more substance and hype than actually delivering on the goods. He looked like there, like he would be a great fighter. But that all came crashing down when Andy Ruiz exposed him. So, yeah, that's just the way it is. That's why you never saw those fights materialize with Fury and or uh, Wilder. Because they knew. Eddie Hearn knew that Wilder would have knocked Joshua out. I mean, he knows boxing. So, um, on that note, let me just talk about my cat real quick. You hear me, Owen? So, my cat is just 16. If you're an animal lover, uh, you know, people abandon their pets as they get older. He's on medication. He's on thyroid medicine. I got. I just had to order something else because I got. I get his blood work done. This cat gets more, you know, taken care of than anything else. Um, he wouldn't be around today if I didn't catch the thyroid. His, his, his coat started getting thinner like two years ago. So we took his thyroid numbers, basically without getting too complicated, from very unhealthy to he wouldn't have been around to where they should be at. But that takes three pills a day. So morning, he gets his pills, and at night he gets his pills. Off topic, if you're sticking around, um, love my pet. You know, I, know he's, I hope he's around longer. 16 years, man, this cat. Had him since he was a kid and he was a rescue. He's a Russian blue. I love him so much. 
Uh, so if I want to put that out there into the world, uh, as your pet gets older, you know, just hold them closer, love them, and um, yeah, I, 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 I don't want to see the day when he's not around anymore. Uh, so many great years with him, and I don't want to see him go. So hopefully he's around for a couple more years. I, I he's going in for another blood test every few months. So a lot of medication. That now this time another medication. He's he's gonna take soon. To, to stabilize his uh, kidneys because they're dropping a little the numbers. So I just want to keep him around as long as possible and uh, I'll do anything for this cat because I love him. Anyway, so I hope you have a great day. Hope you're not mad at me if I said some things that you disagree with in boxing fans. Come on, it's just a sport. Uh, you know, come on. Anyway, Juan, Mel Juan Manuel Marquez, I hope he's not broke. I hope it's wrong. I hope it's uh, all just talk and misinformation. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm out.